Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan Anthony from Phone Tech at Work, and today we have the third case. If you guys been watching my series about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 cases, we got one from Spigen that I actually picked up for about $29. It is on Amazon right now. I'm not sure about the date, but this is the Spigen Thin Fit for your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. So, let's set the video, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Pow. All right, guys, so here we have the thin fit from Spigen for your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. Um, I never buy Spigen cases, but this is one of the only cases that I've been hearing about. They've been telling me to get in the comments to say that they make the best cases ever. From the reviews, it didn't really look that good, but uh, let's see if they updated it from the time that I picked it up, which was about last week, according to the upload date that you see today. So as far as the packaging, you guys can see it does have the little... Samsung Z Fold 2 picture and on the back just some regular stuff here Nothing too important and we have the speaking logo all over the place So let's just pop this baby open and see what it looks like. So you have a simple way to take it out You got a tab pop it out Just like so this is very similar to the case that I actually picked up from eBay The one that everybody was telling me that they picked up for nine dollars when I got it for thirty dollars Big shout out to you guys, but um Let's just pop this baby out and see if it's worth the money. And let's see if the front does not slip off. So what you get inside the packaging is you do get a nice little installation guide of how to put it on. And it does have the little adhesive strips. Again, if you guys remember the case make case, that also had the adhesive strips. So you see from the casing here, it has the adhesive strips so it'll stick to the front a little bit better. Than a lot of these ones that have been slipping off as you guys can see from right here you see how it just slips off just with ease all right so let's clean up the phone and i'll be right back because it is a little bit dusty all right so we're now back so let's take off all these adhesives the one that they're telling me to take off and you clearly don't have a choice because then you can't pop it on but from what i'm seeing it looks like they're clear adhesives See if you guys can see the way it looks there. A little bit different than the casemate one. All right, so let's just pop this baby on and see what it looks like. Make sure you get all the strips too, because I just had one that was on the top there. All right, let's get focused in a little bit. Let's pump up this brightness just a side. All right, so let's just pop this baby in. All right. Let's pop this in real fast. Alright. Alright, so it's in. It looks a, a lot more firmer than the other one. And let's pop on the back. The back plating here. So here's the back case. If you guys are curious to see what this looks like. Spigen. It's almost like a gunmetal gray type of look. Pop that on the back. Alright, so you guys let me know what you guys think about it. It feels um, it feels a lot more premium than the leather case. Let's see how it looks when it's open. All right, all the ports look absolutely perfect. Let's see about that lip action there. Just a little bit of lip action, not too much on the front. Very minimal as well, but it looks okay. See how it looks from right there. Um, let's see if it moves. Will it move while it's in your pocket? Now you see, it's a little bit, kind of does that same flex, but that glue is supposed to hold on, but that glue is not strong enough. Personally, in my opinion, it does not seem strong enough. Now, the access to the power and the fingerprint scanner, that's perfectly wide open, which I really appreciate, which is really good. Cutouts look good. The logo, that's a nice, nice little finishing touch. Is this case worth $30? I do like the access that I have to the power switch. Let's see what about the front access with the screen. Let's see how the fingerprint scan is good. This is a little bit better than that one that I did from eBay. A little bit more spread out on the bottom so I can do the swipe gestures. Alright. No problem. Alright. 
it's not a bad case, but it's pretty much just like the other ones. The front case looked like it might shift a little bit. And even with those little um thing right here, this part is still a little bit creaky. I'm just saying, but I will have an update in the comments if it does actually slide off while it's in my pocket because that's what happened with the last case. When I finished the video, I was like, oh, it's great, it's great. And then when you put it in your pocket, then the thing slides right off. So I will keep you updated in the comments. You guys let me know what you guys think about the Spigen Thin Fit for your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. So if you guys want to pick this up, the link will be down below. If you guys like this video, hit it with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And follow Phone Tech at Work for more videos like this. Peace and love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. It's not bad. Not bad at all.